Are you with us? Yes, I am. I must say, I'm listening to this and I'm looking around to see who you're speaking about. Thank you very much. <laughs> Basil, I'm serious. I take a look at all the newsletters when I publish some of them in the morning and I always enjoy yours so much. It's well, just concise you. and informative. It's awesome. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, the webinar here. So let me just slide this across here. So in my work, um, I look at certain moving averages, certain uh, technical tools that I just put on the chart, which I might not have to use at all. And sometimes I, I do, sometimes I don't. And it's how you use these tools that are really important. You know, it's you're not going to use a hammer if you're looking for glue. You're not going to use uh, you know glue if you're looking for a saw. You need the right tool for the right time. So I spent quite a lot of time over the last few weeks discussing with Tom many times when I was interviewed about the power of this nine. 14 exponential moving average and how it really uh, it can help you in assessing duration and turnarounds and all sorts of things that are really important and such a simple tool to put on your chart it's a it's a nine and with the nine I'll, I'll show you this I'll keep moving over here to show you so I've featured this particular chart right here almost every day for the last couple of weeks and I said that in the Dow, I don't want to go through all the different uh, aspects that I talk about, but the one most important one is let me just move this because I, I use this as a, as a daily chart. So here we go. This daily chart showed you the nine period exponential moving average crossing positive way back in June, and it stayed that way, this green line. And it takes a long time for this green line to turn down, to turn pink. And how you assess it is important. So I was anticipating that there would be a Dow turnaround. But at the same time, there are other technical tools that I use. For instance, there's a nine period exponential moving average that's important. But I also use, see this little blue line here? Look how this blue line picked the exact bottom right there at the bottom uh, that was back in July. And look how it got the exact top to the Dow on August the 1st, where we actually went short the Dow. So that just simple tools. It's just sitting there. There's nothing you need to do. You just observe it. And at a certain point, you make an assessment. So within that context, we're also looking at uh, other techniques that I'll be discussing. Um, so the power of the uh, 914 EMAs and other indicators. So we'll be going through that. We'll be looking at how to use the on-balance volume for potential price turns when and how to use the 200 exponential moving average. That's a longer term moving average. You don't need it, but when the price gets, we've seen it over the last week, when the price gets closer and closer, the gold did it. So many, the dollar has moved up towards its resistance at the 200 period moving average. And then bar symmetry, and bar symmetry basically says, it's fascinating how you can use the, see the number of bars on the upside equal exactly the number of bars to the downside. If you use the, the what I call the plumb line or that fulcrum right in the middle, look, the Dow went right to that gap in, in the same number of bars from that um, high that was made at 35,679. And then I have a technique I call the Chapman Wave inside wedge. It's either a support or resistance line. And that shows you how often you can test that line and even bounce away from it. So these are very practical uh, uh, tools that you can use. I'll be discussing our positions, and we've had some really nice positions. One of them is in the SMH, the uh, Semiconductor Index. If I can just find my earphone, just popped right out. <laughs> no problem. And that, uh, we were very fortunate. We went short uh, two days after the little doji candle high at 161, went short at 159. We actually have the SOXS. That's the three times short, long, you, you buy it as a long position, but it actually is made up of, of a short position. And we've had fabulous gains intraday. In fact, from our initial entry, uh, we were, we we're up about 30% this morning on, on, on one part of the position. So I want to show these things. I get small. I also like to, for my subscribers, I have very small price, low price stocks. For instance, here we have Uranium Energy Core. Mm. We've had it. And look, it's walking this nine period moving average and 14 period moving. So I, I, it's, a, it's a really, it's an intensive workshop, but I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible. And we're looking at our positions. What, are, what, what do we expect next? What's anticipated? How are these technical tools going to help us? Very practical, ongoing uh, thing. And of course they get my newsletter every day. Absolutely. And, and as well, you know, I would say that, you know, I've, I've, uh, host a lot of the webinars that you've done 
Um, and you do a really phenomenal job at explaining it. I would say when I first started working here and seeing the charts, you know, it's a lot to look at, right? But when you get into these webinars, right, it is broken down in such a, a good way that you can really wrap your head around it. And, and plus, it's archived as well. So if you want to keep going back and learning some more, um, I mean, you should, because it's, it's, it's really awesome and it's a very they, powerful They tool. also get numerous webinars that I have on all these different ah. techniques, and they can go through the archives. Even this will be archived. They can go through it as me. If they can't make it at 4 o'clock, it'll be archived the next day. They'll be able to look at it. And as I say, it's very practical. It's going to be money management, all sorts of things that I think are really important to the whole vernacular of, of, of the stock market. Absolutely. Well, Basil, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, we're really looking forward to that webinar, August 23rd. Thank you very much, Jacob. And congratulations. You're doing a fabulous job. I mean, <laughs> this is this is all new to you, and you just right at home. It's fabulous. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Basil. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Take care now.